Okay. Welcome back, everyone. I know not a lot of people watch us watching this, but I really want to get to this episode. I, I remember good stuff, I think, from this one. So, Fable, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. Previously on Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Uh, what? I'm the Emperor of Mankind hereby make my Wait, what? The <laughs> yeah. All organizations contained within the Holy Orders of the Emperor's Inquisition okay. and the Adeptus Minis Dora shall be Yeah, this is when he uh, got rid of them. This is heresy. As your inquisitorial representative, uh. I will travel with my fleet to Terra. Find the cult. Fyodor Karamazov and, and his whole bunch of people. I have no idea what those are. Apparently I can. My father. Magnus Shush. Very important to me. And my future plans, Magnus. Horus will charge Eternity Gate to find mm. whoever sent this message. The God Emperor of Mankind. Yeah. I knew it. Father, can you tell him what's going on? <laughs> what's the new order, Carl Massa? You said my name. I believe it is due time to tell you. That you have done a great job. <laughs> what? I, I do love that. Dreams. You have? Yes. <laughs> Would you like to know why? Oh, yeah. Why is that? Yeah. My Emperor. Because you and I are the same. We are? You must <laughs> keep my traitorous son, Magnus the Red, who has taken me hostage. I am officially done with this. Yes! Uh. Bye! Yep, just sent him all to the warp. I think we're in the warp. I too have a beard. <laughs> I <laughs> I do have a beard. I'm the Primarch of the Volca Federica. Okay. Lehman Russ. My son, the Wolf you King. No, father of my mid self. That yeah. is where you are wrong. My destiny is to escape this realm. Reunite with my throne bound self. Hmm. Do you really see this red demon cyclops? Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's ready to kill Magnus all over again. Huh. Are there any ways out of this realm? We are marching to the gates of Cain. Those are all the Primarchs, I believe. Oh, okay. That's the, uh, the shadowy ones. Uh, I guess the series was supposed to go on long enough to where they had all the Primarchs come back, but yeah. <laughs> but yeah, they're marching Wait, towards the gate of Cain. To be human. Oh. The abstraction which outlines each psyche that constitutes mankind's existence. The aggregate of sentiments that we carry for ourselves and for others. An aspect of our being that I found obsolete in a time where progress was key. Truly. Compassion is an anthem to progress. Huh. A weakness I could not afford to carry at such a crucial time. In recognizing this, I cast mine aside to focus all my being on crafting mankind's future. My work to be hindered by personal attachments no more. Okay, Fable, do you know what he's talking about? Fable? Oh god, he's dead again. No, I don't actually know what he's talking about. Uh, basically, when he was fighting Horus, he apparently loved him so much that he couldn't bring himself to kill him, so he quite literally cut that cut that compassion out of himself. Oh, the Star Child. Yes, the Star Child. In that time, it was my only choice. But now... If for those who don't know, Chrono, you probably don't, but yeah, when he... Basically, when he was fighting his son Horus... He couldn't defeat him because he had too much compassion for his son. He couldn't ah. bring himself to kill him. So when, Mag so when the horse knocked him down and was about to kill him, he cut off his own compassion. Like, a basically a part of his soul. He carved it off, threw away, and then murdered his, obliterated his son's soul. Damn. Yeah. An age of the ruthless... Also, the, the Star Child, from what we know, might be the worship of the Emperor in the warp. The prejudiced. Oh. I need it to return to me. I mean, to be human once more. 
Oh. Who are you speaking to, Father? Kogo <laughs> shall close that cavern in your skull before it vomits forth more agglomerations of vexing questions. My skull yields no hollow rock formation, Father. Holy <laughs> shit on a hot dog, Rogo. And I do not see how an organic hollow Stop. could eject matter from a non existent stomach. Stop this. <laughs> also, no. One does not vomit questions. <laughs> one vomits. Vomit. Be quiet before I speak to Genesis, your shrub of a face, and make said cavern part of your delirious individual oh, reality. Yeah. No. So in the Spain. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you happy to see Rogel Dorn again, Fable? Yeah, of course. I love Rogel Dorn. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, are you ready to see your number two favorite person here? Yes. Oh, Prince Tori Prince. So, uh, where is this gate of corn? I have yet to spot. Gate of corn. Ah, oh. is this the Fenrisian pronunciation of corn? Not corn, cane. I know only of corn. What is this cane you speak of? The uh, god of war and murder. Oh. That's corn, though. <laughs> the Eldar god of war and murder. There are subtle telling differences between them. <laughs> a heretical war god is a heretical war god is a heretical war god. What difference could there possibly be? Well, for one, constantly this jelly filled with blood, yeah. skulls, bloody skulls, and they're not pretty much to force three sectors worth of faulty trombones. And, uh, yeah. Canes? Uh, should be much of the same, except. Okay, let me see. <laughs> um, actually, just because Cor Cain is the god of blood and murder and symbolizes war, destruction, martial, does not mean he also symbolizes violence, hatred, and blood, which Corn does. Mm -hmm. It's just wrong. Do more research. Um, actually, Cor Cain sits on a smothering throne, not a skull throne, so there. Um, actually, just because Corn Cain has blood constantly pouring from his hands doesn't mean he's similar to the blood god Corn. You're just dumb if you think, quite frankly. Um, actually, I don't like these in but. Oh, text blobs. I can't read them when you're moving like this. I hate it. I'm um, actually Phrenician pronunciation of corn is Gorn. I'm um, actually corn is doesn't have a domain at the moment because he's lit. Yeah, uh, basically what happened oh my God. when the uh, Slanesh was birthed into the world, Kane was kind of torn apart. Like he did a lot of damage to corn and Slanesh. Like he left a scar on her that she can never remove and basically made Korn a paraplegic, but he was torn to pieces. So they call upon the sh the shards of the god of Cain. Oh, wow. Yeah. Also, apparently his... Um, actually, Cain's doesn't, doesn't like brass. His avatars are made of iron. <laughs> um, actually, Cain's blood is made out of magma. Korn's isn't, it's just blood. I'm um, actually Kane is a lot younger. I'm um, actually you're wrong. Two more here. I'm um, actually Kane is a lot older. There's a lot of conflicting lore here, obviously. Yeah. Questions. We've arrived. I don't think we said anything. So, uh, is this it, hmm. or is it another generic chaos gate? No, uh, this is the one. You okay. can tell by the amount of spikes per square inch and such. Oh. Where's Spike Law? What with it being coated in fancy Eldar chicken scratch? Then. This yeah, honestly, the Eldar love to talk about how they are the greatest species to grace the galaxy, but they screwed it all up, so their time is kind of over. Yeah. Does our ticket out? Yes, but, uh. Hmm. Oh. Last I was here, a huge demon army was stunned about trying to smash the gate. Oh. It was long enough to take on an entire sector. Oh. But, you know, come to think of it, I think it wasn't here. Really, I was expecting all your men to be swallowed up in the meat grinder, while your psychos popped like balloons trying to get the gate open. Ah, uh, so it is. Psycho divisions! Oh. 
Look at that. Look the psych. Oh, they're also using the librarians, too. Oh, wow. Librarians are basically just called psychers for war. For Oh my god, they're using this sound <laughs> clip from Dawn of War, which, uh... Whenever you have the Psyker cast Arcane Lightning, he yells out, Witness your death! Which I kind of <laughs> love how into the voice actor is into that. Yeah. Uh, I want, like I said, I want to make that a sound alert, just so, and maybe have me shoot lightning from my hands or something. Oh, they have it on repeat. We are doing on a moment. Why are you, uh, out here? What do you mean? I'm leading my troops into glorious freedom from the war. No, 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 I mean, in more polite terms, what you're gathering up in that stone on the cycle line? Is it yeah. obvious? I'm using my highly potent <laughs> Alpha Plus Psycho powers to aid my acolytes. Oh my god. I hate to break this to you, my but you're not a psycho. Nonsense! I am the Emperor! <laughs> he still believes he's the Emperor, Fable. <laughs> Poor guy. Poor guy. You see well. my powerful powers. I will kill this gate! Oh. Do, uh, well, uh... To yourself at all, you with you. Uh, he's just leaning over and trying to use his mind. <laughs> My lord Russ, permission to speak, sire. Hi, what do you need, beardless one? Beardless. Pop a gasket. Grave news from the rear, sire. Sound, Stuart. Tell them what you saw. I'd like to report the presence of a giant fuck off demon army marching on our location, sir. Okay. Stuart. Language! Pardon me, Tempesta, but it does get even worse. Uh. This humongous demon army... It's being led by... Oh! Scarbrand! Uh... Uh-oh. <laughs> uh... <laughs> uh, Scarbrand is the champion of corn, uh, Chrono. Oh. Uh, the reason he's on a constant walkthrough is because he was once fed a lie by Zeech, and he attacked Korn from behind, which Korn hates people that use trickery, so he goes out and murders mm. people to try and get his favor back. Yep, mm. so apparently the lore grows that, uh, because Korn does appreciate, like, he's okay if his demons attack him, so long as it's from the front, but because Starbrand attacked him from the back, he literally got him from the head, shook him until there was nothing left, and then threw him, like, through five planets or something. Jeez. Keep in mind, I don't actually know if that's true or not, because exaggerations. But he was so pissed at him, he basically shook him until there was nothing left, and then just threw him. And now Damn. he's literally a shell of what he once was, because he was tricked by Zinch, of all things. Yeah. Yeah. Oh boy! Also, Cairo's Fate Weaver! But he can't do anything. He sees the future and the past at the same time. Uh, I, we yeah. already probably told you about him, Chrono, but he's one of the great lords of change. He's the, he's the oracle of Zeech, the god of trickery, sorcery, and a bunch of other things. Uh, the reason he has two heads instead of one is because... Uh, Zeech threw him into a black hole and he came out with two heads, one that sees the past and one that sees the future. Ah, uh, that's why I okay. kind of thought it was, one sees the past and one sees the future. Uh, yeah, so yeah he, but he can't of, see the present. Uh, hmm. yeah, let me kind of explain that a little bit better. Basically, there is, um, <clears throat> the warp is like a giant ocean, and there's such a thing as, like, the deep ocean and all that, right? Mm -hmm. So, apparently... There is a black hole in uh, the warp, and Zinch was like, huh, this is interesting. Let me throw a bunch of my demons in it. None yeah. of them ever came back. <clears throat> then he's just like, all right, Kairos, I'm going to throw you in it. Kairos was the only one to come back, but when he came back, he was insane. He literally grew a second head and started 
spouting a bunch of gibberish that Zine just looks like, all right, I'm not touching that no more. I don't care. <laughs> He literally yeah. doesn't want to touch it anymore because of what happened to Kairos. He's just like, oh yeah, that's too weird even for me. I'm not touching it. <laughs> Pretty much. This is really, really cool, dude. We have found the materials. Oh, they're doing the whole thing. One only speaks lies and the other speaks truths. Oh, God. Oh, great. The Masquerade, uh, another greater demon, this time a Slanesh, that's forced to dance forever, because Slanesh, well, I guess Slanesh thought it would be funny. Oh, my... my sword. <laughs> oh my god, it's Epidemius, the tally man of... of Nurgle. Uh, like I said. Let's fuck him up. Uh, basically, what happened earlier is they threw a bunch of soap at him in a bathtub. Uh -huh. uh, the good thing is, is it's not Rod against the Rainmaker or Kugoth the Plague Father, but Epidemius is still pretty bad. Basically, he keeps track of everything for uh, Nurgle, like how the disease are going, who's died from disease, all that. Mm. There, there's even a rumor if you stop the Tally Man at all. That all of Nurgle's diseases just stop for a bit. Oh. Well then. Yeah. Oh, there's more frogs. Oh, is that all they've got? Kalakia shield and a Nazi curses. There is battle to be won today. Holy nice. I mean, it's good they have the Grey Knights here. They at least stand a chance with them. Oh, hey, the Scions. Yeah, the Tempestus Scions are here. That's mm -hmm. cool. They're like one of the best guard regiments. Well, the elite guard regiments, essentially. Yeah, they're up there with the Lucifer Blacks. Wait, why are they in the warp? Ah, oh, crap. Because they're, they're because they're part of the. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't remember what ordo of the Sleep, Inquisition. Not the to speak. I'm now, stealing. To your why? Because I need elite units to fight demons. Why not just take a few gray knights or something? You're too zealous. I can't handle that. Oh, there's the Black Watch. Or, uh, yeah, they have the Black Watch. <laughs> oh, they got knocked over from that. Oh my god. Oh, she's hard to. She has a bunch of alcohol with her. God, I wish she would have. You wish you would have what? I wish he wouldn't. <laughs> I'm guessing these two are uh, space wolves that are, since they're sons of rust, they're obviously standing next to their father and were part of the Death Watch. Uh, I'm assuming possibly maybe they're part of his uh, elite guard, because each one of the Primarchs did have a elite guard with them. Yes, but Rust came originally alone, so I guess they were just part of the Death Watch that, well, of course they're going to be right next protecting their father. Late stars and thunders. Yeah. Hold them back! Oh. Crucible of War, the meat grinder. Meat grinder. <laughs> oh, no. Chaos That's Demon versus Imperial fun. Agents. Hateful <laughs> feud at, K at Kane's Gate. Oh, they're using actual armies. The drunkards they even of us. Point values. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit! They have twice as many point values for the demons. Oh, dear. Well, then. Okay, so let's see what we have here. We have Scarbrand Warlord, Kairos Fate Weaver. Uh, the Miscus of Messiah of Sleech, Epidemius, and all of his plague units. And then over here we have the Warlord Kai Caldor Drago. <laughs> the Grey Knight. 
Okay, we have a squad of 10 Strike Grey Knights, a Nemesis Dread Knight, an Inquisi Inquisitor, a, a 9 Veteran Vanguard Death Watch units, the Tempesta Scions, for the Ordo Hereticus, we have this obviously the Sisters of Battle and more Tempesta Scions, and Torox. Okay, what does it say? The battle you are about to witness ha is based on an actual 40k tabletop battle that happened in real life. Apologies in advance. Oh, wow. Oh, no. That's... Oh. Oh, they have a bunch of pink horrors. Yeah, they're they need to defend the psychers. Nice. <laughs> How does no one want to have more sisters of battle? Like, look at that armor. It's kind of yeah. cool looking. Yeah, I don't even know what order this is, but her armor looks sick as hell, especially with that power fist. Uh... Probably my Order of the Martyred Lady, mm. give or take. Because uh, those are the ones that usually pop up. Yeah, but the Order of the Martyred Lady has black armor. The the uh, armor kind of reminds me of the Blood Oath from SAO. Yeah, I just... Oh, no. Someone just give me this helmet. cool helmet and I'll, I don't know, make yeah. a cool battle suit or something out of design. Because yeah. that is a cool looking helmet in design. I don't know why people... I just hate that the Sister of Battle don't get nearly as much as they should. Honestly, it would be pretty cool if somebody can make a common rider based off of that out that armor outfit right there. Oh, that would be weird. 40k mixed with common rider. Actually, it's not the that weirdest be... crossover in the world. Hey, that would be very oh. epic. I'm um, not even gonna lie, that would be epic. Mech, I think they're the Order of the Sacred Rose. Ah, okay. I think. I mean, I'm still looking it up. Yeah, yeah, Trono, but the problem is there's literally an order known as the Ordo of the Bloody Rose, which is the, which is more red than white. It's inverted. Yeah, So pretty that's much. the problem. Yeah. Oh, oh. Their whole thing is quite literally <laughs> being the angriest Sisters of Ballad rushing into glorious combat. Yeah. They're the one Sisters yeah, they... of Ballad you don't want to meet. Oh, yeah, the oh, okay. of the Bloody Rose is literally red armor with some white trimmings, but it's mostly just red, black, and white. But the red is the main point of their armor. So yeah, oh. I think it's the Order of the Sacred Rose. Yep, it is the Order of the Sacred Rose. Okay. Okay, then. Oh yeah, he's in the, the one Inquisitor in the back. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, that's the Death Watch. Oh, Did we I tell you about them? Uh, the Death Watch? Uh, basically, they are part of the Ordo Xenos. Uh, basically, it's a, it's not an actual chapter. Basically, every once in a while, the, Inqu uh, the Inquisition has different chapters donate veterans from wars against different Xenos or aliens. Oh, okay. Basically, its whole job is to take out <clears throat> uh, big alien threats. Because they have veterans okay. who will know how to be able to deal with them. Yeah, the thing about the Death Watch, to my understanding, is they they go after some of the most dangerous suicidal missions. So chances are, when you join it, you might not actually return back to your chapter. Yeah. So it's like really dangerous, and I think some chapter masters absolutely hate it, but they have to follow it and. and to not get in trouble with the Inquisition, sadly. Also, it is very necessary, considering what happened during the War of the Beast. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, prolonged waffle? Is he Belgian? What? Uh... Oh! Oh, I love this. <laughs> oh. Have you ever eaten a tangerine? A tangerine. What? <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to try one? 
Oh my god. Psychic test failed. Oh, gate of it has failed. Let me gather my chakra so I can <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> Let me gather my chakra. <laughs> what the fuck? That's fine. I can't believe this actually happened. Oh. Pretty clever, right? Oh. Priestly, there's a demon bigger than a house over yon. You think it'd be a big traffic's gonna stop him? Yeah. It's really tanky though, isn't it? It's mighty str Yeah, apparently Scarbrand hates traffic jams, Fable. I thought Scarbrand hated everything. Probably. Uh, he's got some proper road rage, you know what I mean? He's not a bloke, he's a giant demon! Oh, okay. So we strike the jet. I'll bet the shit myself. Oh, shit, with your dead, Sion Grunt! Now okay. I'll keep a step up a limb, soldier! This is our moment of glory! Come on, Wonderful. That sounds terrible, I do. Yes! Canonist. Okay. Oh, I do like you. Let the past sisters purify them in the name of the Fiatra! <laughs> oh, just, God. Are we really going with. <laughs> we have a clear shot of those foul demonettes surrounding the Torox. We need only your word, Kenneth. No. No. Oh. What? <laughs> this, uh, from what I know, this is a rule thing. Okay. We cannot endanger our Torox friend by shooting at those demons. Oh, hi, Rain. Hello. 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 Apparently, the risk is too great, Fable. But, but why? Hello, Rain. It's too great. Apparently, in I'm not sure what edition this is. You couldn't. I still think you probably can't. You can't shoot if your ally is engaged in melee, if they're too close to the enemy, basically. Why? I I don't know, cause you might hit them. What? Not for me to question your wisdom, Kellaness, but we could mow them all down from here. The Torox is supposed to soak up the damage either way, so a few stray shots really wouldn't matter. No! Oh. The risk is too great. <laughs> what the? Uh, then what are we supposed to do? Stand fast. Stand fast. Stand I like how they even they are like done with this. Oh. <laughs> Charge failed. That's all right. I figured it out. <laughs> no. I'm assuming because when they were playing as Drago, they were Warfare. really doing bad with rolls. <laughs> Looks like it. Is, is not an exact science. <laughs> oh. The poor cow. It's not a cow. Wipe your face. <laughs> They're charging us now. Permission to actually shoot. Yes! Overwatch! Overwatch! Overwatch barely helps. Oh, dear God. No saves, no sisters. Oh, God damn. Oh, there now goes the order. Yeah, most of them. At least one survived, I think. Time to run the fuck away. Yeah, it's time to leave. <laughs> it feels like this is... Run the fuck away. I feel like this is Chrono when we're dealing with horrifying things. Yeah. It's time to get the fuck away. Oh, she charges Caldor Drago. You see my sword. Look. Time is nothing, lost witch. After this place, material bomb is murdered. Would you please put a positive report with the Prince of Pleasure? I've lost uh. language beneath my lovely lord. Watch is not very good. 
uh, Fable, did you hear him? Yes. Sorry, what? <laughs> 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 oh. What the hell? Initiate strab. Stab. Gus is <laughs> murdered. Oh, he grew his arm back. <laughs> Plague Bearer actually dies. <laughs> I like how it's confused, too. Yeah, for those who don't know, Plague Bearers and most of Nurgle's kit is very, very tanky. So, mm -hmm. them losing two multi shots is impressive. They are s extremely slow moving. Oh. Uh, uses charge Death Watch kill team. Eleven wounds, goddamn. Moral test failed. Oh, well, at least the Grey Knights are doing pretty good against the corn demons. Against they the blood letters. Hmm, they but... got poison. They got lead poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that's what it said. Let me go back. I'm gonna shoot at blood letters. Uh, get lead poisoning. <laughs> Strike team uses smite. Remain battler is a tough one. Hmm? I don't think that's an actual move. Smite. I think that is. I'm stealing that. No! I smite you, Fable. Too late, I'm stealing that. I smite your smite. Oh, he uses smite times three. And apparently he yelled capitalism. Oh, wow. Wow, he can, so he can smite and I'm not allowed to? The frick, Max. Yeah. Damn. Ooh. Suffered six mortal Where wounds, goddamn. Like, uh, Dread Knight charges. Overwatch. <laughs> Suffers one rune? Ah, oh, fuck. 21 wounds? God damn! Damn, Starfire is a... is a... is a demon knight thing. He is a... Champion, sorry. Yeah, Cornate Berserkers and Cornate Demons have this uh, problem where they're... Uh, um... Let me just put it this way. They are really good at melee. Yeah, which is why I think a lot of the time certain units should be used for a more range. However, that's apparently disrespectful <laughs> in the name of the Emperor, so... Yeah. Yes. Yeah, he killed the Dread Knight. Oh! He just killed the rest of the Grey Knights. Damn. I actually like yeah, the Grey Knights. Supposed to be demon hunters, though. I mean, they're dealing with four greater, powerful super demons. Mac, they're still supposed to be demon hunters. I don't want excuses. Oh my what god! Results. Jeez. My result will be my fist upon your head. I will you, super oh. Hey, hey, oh. Was the one who smashed your business. I, me, I do not need my existence validated to feel good about myself. <laughs> Grandmaster Alicia. What did that say there? Oh, I like him. Charges Scarbrand. Ah. Uh, 
for, for, it's it for 15 waffles. What the hell? It's a dice game, trust me. Bad rolls can fuck you up, yeah. Oh, I know. It's just really, really funny how it seems the Imperium is getting all the bad rolls. Yeah. Yeah, they're surprised they're still alive considering the Grey Knights are dead. Yeah. <laughs> Did she just say gene stealer? Yeah, she's still drunk. Oh. Stop oh, stealing my kills. I really don't mind. Scarbrand rules stealing. Oh. Scarbrand is a respectable member of society. <laughs> 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 oh my god. I love your horns. issues internalizing his accomplishments and would thus never do something so petty. What do you think about that fable? I'm gonna start talking like Starbrand just to bother you. Why? Because it's funny. All I always said was Scarbrand would never do something. He's a respectable member of society. He is not a member of society or respectful. <laughs> he says he has trouble internalizing his own accomplishments. Fair and valid. I love you, Scarbrand. <laughs> this is Infernal Gateway. Scarbrand suffers 11 more wounds down to one wound! <laughs> he hurts Scarbrand so much. <laughs> oh, well, that's just weird. I'm glad we have each other. I'm drunk. Oh, she's dead. She has ascended. Oh, the psychers are popping. Shut yourself, a grand knight, and God give a legend of the Kleiner Sidewinder. We don't have time for this. Nobody's got time for this. They're almost upon us. Please, my lord, if you truly are him, open this gate. All my friends are dead. I don't want to die in this horrible, magical hell. Lord Karamazov. Don't let our brother's deaths be for naught. Stay yeah. here as medically and advice, and I'm sure you already knew that. <laughs> he's saying that because he's the apothecary, so he's the actual doctor of the group. Sir, that giant fuck off demon and his cohorts are gaining into our position. Lord Inquisitor, we have no space left to fall back to. Please hurry and open this gate if you really are the Emperor. If you really are the Emperor. Hey, but what do you think's gonna happen? No. Something dumb. Hmm. Something in the fact that I feel like because the way this is going, the gate's gonna open and they're gonna... Oh, faith. It's faith-based, isn't it? Hmm. I mean... Aw, oh, crap. <laughs> oh, Are you okay, Fable? <laughs> no. I know what's gonna happen. At least I think I know. I don't want it to. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, it's Saint Celestine. Yes, I think. it's the Dreamer. Yes, and that's uh, Dominique. Oh yeah, he's dead. And who could the last one be? Ah, excellent. Thank you for your company. Nah. The Star it's Child. Okay. Seriously? <laughs> yes, the Star Child is here, I Fable. If I knew I'd trip oh, this hard for you, Demon Inners, I would have died a long time ago. Besides that. 
You are a reliable subject, but I would have found him all the same. Your duty is done, Dominique. Yeah, yeah, I know. I just wanted to stick around for a little longer. That you cannot be condemned for. Without you, Fyodor Karamazov would not have shaped up to be the bitter, mm. dogmatic, well, yeah, it's Saint and Celestine. furiously self-assured vessel that he is today. Just did what I had to. Mm. It wasn't hard. I just had to be myself, really. Mm -hmm. but, <laughs> you know, oh, that's not I'll good. <laughs> Do not worry. Yeah. Even when you were gone. Is he the kayak? Be by our side. He's in something. I'm not really sure what it is. You know, that doesn't sound all that bad. Aww. Come. So yeah. he's the one who led Lord Starchild here. To uh, Fyodor. Yeah. yeah. Dominique, you are a very weird person. I know, very. But yet you're really helpful right now. Yeah, she is. Let's blow this joint! <laughs> Mm. Goodbye, Dominique. Bye, Starman. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, Fyodor. Have a happy new year, pal. Oh. Farewell for now, Lord Starchild. See you, Dreamer. So I feel so you bad for her. Did make it. Mm. For who? I've been waiting for you. For Celestine. Rune <laughs> Hypocritical man. <laughs> I'm going to feel right at home. What do you think's happening, Fable? No, I refuse, Beck. I refuse. <laughs> <laughs> too bad. That stupid joke came true. <laughs> Here it comes, Fable. No. Let the light of the Emperor the shine the upon the world. He literally found a vessel that's just as bad as his old one. Mm -hmm. Are you kidding me? Oh, God. oh, look what's happening. Oh, dear. Are those rubric marines? Those were chaos marines, I think, of the Black Legion. He just destroyed the world. Basically, his light, was, his light was so bright that it caused everyone. Look. Is that Commissar? Yeah, that was a commissar. Him gaining life anew literally spread a holy light throughout the world or the galaxy. That was a Tyranids, wasn't it? Let's go back for a bit and let's see who all. As he unleashes his power, they start to burn to nothing. Yeah, those were just normal humans as they felt the light of the Emperor. Yeah, but look at the thing there. Those are. That might be the Tyranid Hive Fleets. Ugh, it's creepy. Hmm. He grew a beard. He always had the beard. He just grew awesome. hair. Aww. I, I, I hate that. Please wait, loading. Oh, this is a screen from Dawn of War. Let's see, your victory. You have escaped the uncoverable most realm of the warp without suffering a 100% loss casualty rule. One demon immunity <laughs> earned. Star Fueled Per earned. Without suffering. I feel like they got like a 99% or like, like 90% the... uh, casualty rate though. That's still pretty good and what you got out of it was the return of the Emperor Fable. I, I don't want him to. Well too bad and he just lit all the Chaos Marines on fire for their betrayal. Very distracting. Very distracting. But yeah, I just like the start of this where it shows, like, the light of the Emperor shining upon the loyal subjects and the Chaos Marines just burning to a crisp. 
It's uh, but I thought the bugs were ready. Oh wait, no, High Fleet Leviathan I think is still out there somewhere. But yeah, this was beautifully made. The amount of effort Alpha Busa and his team puts into it is kind of- Oh wait, the tabletop match was played by Alpha Busa and Elphys. Alpha, who played yeah, the do. Inquisition, is absolutely horrible at 40k tabletop. <laughs> Oh, but that's the one that they were doing so bad. Yeah, saw the bugs you see. Yeah, that's yeah. They're nothing more than scouts, and like I think it's called Leviathan. No, is I don't remember the exact name of the ship that they're using, but it's something like that. I want to go back to the one of that last poem. Alpha's victory was was entirely accidental. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Zorn's real name isn't actually Zorn. Weird, right? What do I think? Oh, that's lovely. Saint Celestine Sniper. It's lunchtime. But yeah, there's so much effort. It what makes me sad that the series not continue because you saw the amount of effort they were putting into not only the story, but all the visuals as well. Like, you gotta admit, that visual of the Emperor coming back was amazing. Especially yeah. with that music. Yeah. And now all the Chaos Marines and all of Chaos shall quake in its boots for or more. As the return of the Emperor is not something that they are deadly afraid of. Beware of the fun. Oh, Zorn also played the random Death Watch Marine. Huh. Epidemius. That really this kind of gave me an idea. I hated it. It gave you an idea? Yeah. Fresh. Common, I'll 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 DM you my idea to let to see what you think. Yeah, the Tyranid High Fleets are kind of horrifying in that there's more than one, and one came from the other side of the galaxy. Yeah, and one's actually coming from under the galaxy. Yeah, it's um kind of horrifying because uh yeah we they're not from. Chrono, they're not from our galaxy. They came all the way from another galaxy to ours. So here's the problem, though. There's like there's um there's kind of some theories going on about it. Some believe that the Tyranids ate up their own galaxy and they're basically coming to ours because we're a buffet for them. Others believe that they're running from something even scarier from them. Which is kind of horrifying. Yeah, because they're already horrifying, and if they're running from something, what are they running from? Exactly. But yeah, the return of the Emperor is something no one will have been able to expect, but goddamn, was it a cool intro. Or ending. Alright, thank you all so much. If you like this video, please do consider liking it, watching it again, I don't know, uh... Checking out these two because Fable likes to react to 40k stuff with me. I also like to stream, uh, also like to stream and talk about many of my strange lights like Pokemon, Digimon, all that stuff. Mostly creature collecting. Yeah. Also, he loves the return of the Emperor and he loves his Blood Bowl. I, I refuse to play Blood Bowl. You have to pay me to play that. I already did. I require more. Oh I my use God. it all on hardcore gambling. Oh Not my God. really, though. Anyway, thank you all so much, and we'll see you later. Bye.